you you started flawless in 1999 along again thank you rest in peace philip seymour hoffman and bobby de niro what was it like working with them i mean you worked with some mount rushmore of actors and actresses so i mean what what was this like you know i think the i think a part of you just goes should i be here <laughs> like you know it's very surreal it's very mm -hmm. surreal um now with uh, Philip Seymour Hoffman, I had known him sort of through Labyrinth Theater Company. I was kind of like a Labyrinth Theater Company groupie, you know, and um, and so it, it, I had already known him, you know. So it, it wasn't like oh, you know, it was it was less, uh, it was more familiar, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, with De Niro, it was just like. Gosh, daunting. I just beyond my, you know, um, I was thrilled and honored. Yeah. Let me ask you this. You mentioned that you had known Philip from uh, from Labyrinth Theater. So let me ask you this. Um, either either with this film or about their time in knowing him, were there any any memory you want to share with us that you may have that you can remember? Yeah, I do. And the, the and the other thing is that um, uh, he he. he Labyrinth produced a play that I did at the public theater called uh, School of the Americas. Um, it was about um, uh, Che Guevara. And so he, that was actually the time that I, because I would see him every day, like he was there all the time, you know. Um, but even before that, I had written my first play and uh, John Ortiz, who ran uh, Labyrinth along with Phil, um, was just like, I, I told him about my script and he was like, hey, why don't you bring it to our retreat? Which, because I was invited to their writing retreat, to their retreat that, you know, where they do their new plays. And mm -hmm. he's like, yeah, why don't you bring it and uh, and we'll we'll read it. And I was like, oh my God. So, um, so Phil was there and he was there in the front row and I could hear him laughing. And then afterwards, um, yeah, he said to me, he said, uh, he came up to me, he's like, that was great. And he's like, was that based on personal experience? And we just talked about it. And that meant the world to me that he would kind of take me aside and, you know, talk about it and stuff. And that's the kind of, um, person that he was you know yeah and i had to audition just for him um to get school of the americas it was like we went in just you know for a group of people and then it was like oh yeah i want to bring you back to audition for phil and i was like okay no pressure right <laughs> so i kept having like these 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 uh dreams where i would be doing my audition and he'd be asleep or i i'd be doing my audition and he'd be on the phone and like i just like having like um, these dreams about, you know, just anxiety dreams, but, but, um, but yeah, just him, um, talking about my play was very, it meant a lot to me. He's an amazing actor. I remember yeah. the first time I saw him was in the big, big, uh, well, the first time I saw was big Lebowski was, uh, don't touch that. Um, he was just, I, I, I knew when at the first time I saw him, like, this guy, if this guy doesn't end up being in a, being like an A-list actor Jesus that, that gets his dues, I don't, there's something wrong with, with casting agents. Cause he was just, I mean, he took such a, he would take these small roles, like along came Polly. Oh, uh, Dude, when he played G, he, <laughs> he played himself I'm as G. Yes. 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 What's up? I'm in a situation here. We have to leave now. Well, no, can we stay a couple more minutes? Dude, no, this is serious. I just sharded. You know, I'd never seen it. And I just saw it, I think like uh, two or three months ago. And I was like, how did I never see this? How did I miss this incredible performance from him? Yeah. And Punch Drunk Love, I mean, he's so, uh, I mean, he, he walks the line of being terrifying and hilarious at the very same time. Like, oh did you just, did you just? Shut, 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 shut up. Shut up. He, yeah, I but mean, then he switches it up because you didn't see this because he he doesn't like action movies like that. Mission Impossible, he killed it in Mission Impossible. He kills it. He, he, he he's killed the man. It in everything. He's yeah. the man, man. He is the man. The other thing I want to mention briefly because I feel like I'm taking up so much time. Um, uh, he, uh, I was doing Water by the Spoonful, 
um, you know, when he passed away and, um, and my, oh God, it was so excruciating to do because I found out, I think like 10 minutes before the show started and it was mm -hmm. like, all right, you got to go and, and do the show. And my, and my first scene is a very upbeat one, whatever. Um, mm -hmm. but my character, um, overdoses in the play. Oh, wow. So, but it was oh, to me, for, for me, it was, um, my own, I, I pay, pay tribute to him. I tried to like every night and I would, I would imagine him in the back row watching and that got me through it, you know? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's beautiful. Why don't you subscribe? It'll last longer.